to the makeup chair. Today I'm going to be doing a look for your eyes. It's going to be using some chocolate and mocha colors. So if you're interested, just keep watching. is I have applied my foundation and some blush and some powders and stuff. You can check that out in my um, facial routine video. I think it's like foundation routine video. And then you can come straight back here and we're going to carry on with the eyes. So you can apply a primer or whatever that you may like. I've just used a little bit of powder because my lids can get quite oily. So I want the color to stay there all day long. So I've just applied some loose powder over my lids. Just in half of my eye on this side just to get us started. So the first thing that I'm going to take is I'm going to use this um, number 7 palette and this actually came free with their mascara, their number 7 mascara. We're going to use this color right here because it's beautiful. I love it. We're going to use a really tiny brush so we're going to use this kind of pinpoint brush like this. The only thing about this eyeshadow is what's disappointing about it is very very glittery and I didn't realize how, how much glitter actually came out in it but it will be all over your face so what I do is I first of all I take it onto the brush I tap it off because glitter is slightly heavier so the glitter kind of disappears and then I pat it into the inner corner because that's where we we're applying it so I'm only applying a very small amount if you had another highlighter um, in kind of a cream or a champagne color as well would look really pretty. You can place that in the inner corner instead. It doesn't have to be glitter, but you can use glitter if you want. I'm just not a big fan of glitter. So just kind of build up the color until you get like a really bright eye in, in the inner corner. And you can just do that little point there as well. So we're just doing about um, two thirds. I mean, one third of the eye, the inner eye, like that. Now we're going to take a mocha color, and the mocha color is the one I always use, and this is by Maybelline, and it's actually a really, really old palette. I've had this for absolutely years, and it's actually my favorite color. And it's this metallic mocha, and it's beautiful. And we're just going to use a basic eyeshadow brush, nice, soft, basic eyeshadow brush. So you start by applying a tiny amount of that, I'm just going to be using a tiny bit. And you start on the outer corner because that's where your pigment's going to lie first of all. And I want a really strong colour over here. So we're just going to place the brush there and then we're going to blend it across into that kind of cream, white, sparkly colour. Like so now you're going to take the chocolate colour and you're going to take this brush, the, the pointed, pinpointed brush again. And we're just going to apply a little bit of that on. And what we're going to do is we're just going to dab on to where we want to go just above the crease. So just into the crease and above the crease. And we also want to do that outer corner as well. So that kind of wedge shape, I think I like that. Now you're going to take a blender brush. Now blender brushes are so important when you want to do a really good smoky eye. So we're going to place that there and we're going to start doing circles. But I want to keep the pigment really out here. Now if you're not really used to using a lot of color or doing a smoky eye, start off very basic. Start off by using a tiny amount of color, blend it and then add some more and then blend it till you get the color that you want. I'm not going to go all the way over here and I'm not going to go all the way up. It's just kind of this back and forth circle motion. And you can also go underneath. And just keep an eye on each eye so that your colors match up. So on this side I went a little bit higher, so on that side I'm just going to add a little bit more. So take that tiny brush again, and there should be still some on it, but if there's not, just take a little bit of that chocolate. And just keep it up to the lash line underneath. And you're just going to go halfway across, just going to leave it there. <clears throat> so that's it with just the basic um, shadow on it. We're going to move on, we're going to use a liner. Now this liner is something that I bought in pennies and it was about I think it was like three euro or four euro and it's beautiful and I can't believe that they are actually selling it in pennies or in Primark wherever you have it if you're in England it's Primark. 
So this is what it looks like. Ta -da. And you can get it in sparkle, and the sparkly one isn't good, but this one is, this is just black black. So just make sure that you read it and make sure you got the black because otherwise you're going to get a sparkly one and I've heard the sparkly one isn't as good as just the normal black. I'm going to be using a liner brush. So you can use a water, um, a liquid liner if you want. I'm just going to practice some strokes on my hand. This also coats the, um, the bristles. So when you're applying your liner, try and make sure that your lashes lie flat because they're not going to get in the way and stuff. Because can, you can kind of like trip over them, you know what I mean? They can kind of get in your way. And you don't want to go on like this, you want to go sideways. That is how I do it. It's a little bit more difficult because I'm right-handed. So I'm just going to look in the mirror for this one instead of looking at the camera. So you want to place it down the middle of the eye. Start slowly working it out. It's quite a thin line, it's nothing too, too much. I am like really need to wear my glasses when I apply my makeup, which is really difficult because you can't apply liner and wear your glasses at the same time. And they don't actually make contacts for me, so this line doesn't look so good from where I am right now. Looking right up to the lash line, I'm not using a um, black uh, liner on my waterline. I'm simply doing this to make it easier. Sorry. Okay, so now we're going to do the little flick out. So, just pick a point up high. You don't want to go down, you don't want to go out. You want to pick a point going upwards. And then you want to create the wedge. Now keep comparing where the other one is on the other side. Mine is pretty much even right now because you don't want one to be going up here and one to be kind of going that way. So keep an eye on the both of them. And that is the look. It's really, really simple, but it's very, like, almost dramatic, you know? But you can get away with it. Like, most people who wear this, like, liner every day, I'm not a big fan of wearing too much liner every day, mostly because uh, it's rare that I get liner right, so I don't really wear it that much. We're gonna do is we're gonna apply some mascara. The mascara I love using is Liner Effect by um, Bourjois. Is that it? I don't know. <laughs> I would be saying that wrong. But um, curl your lashes, add your mascara. So this is the finished look. You can add some false mascara, um, false eyelashes if you want, but it's not really a must because the liner kind of gives that effect that you have really thick eyelashes. You can also add some white eyeliner underneath. And this just makes your eyes look really big. To complete the look, I'm going to use um, Stay Gloss. And this is by Rimmel, I think. Yes, it's by Rimmel. And it's in this nice kind of, um, kind of bronzy color. And it's just going to go with the bronziness on our lids. And there you go. I'm Shania Katie, and thanks for watching.